<laughs> Hi everyone, we're live on YouTube. Thanks for joining. George Farmer here, and I'm with a very special guest, Yuri's. This is Yuri's Mitch JS. How you doing, mate? Hi, everybody. Uh, traffic. So, Yuri's is uh, another professional aquascaper from Germany, probably one of the most prolific in Germany, if not Europe. Uh, we're really good friends, we've known each other for a few years now. And we're here today at Zoo Flotman, uh, which is a really cool aquascaping specialist. I've not seen inside yet, so I'm going to go in and we'll get some first impressions and uh, share it with you guys. So, let's go. Wow, very cool. So this is the owner's Dieter, and his lovely wife. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. So, this is 150 centimetre. We've got two ADA solar RGBs there. Some beautiful rainbow fish. Look at the colours on these bad boys. Absolutely stunning under that LED lighting. Incredible. Lovely island style aquascope there. Cosmetic foreground. Plenty of Amano shrimp. Lovely moss. Got some hygrophila, probably sperma by the look of it. Some bulbitis. Shout out to Nepal, thanks for joining. We've got 49 people watching right now, that's really good. Thanks for joining everyone. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and then you'll get automatically notified every time I go live. Jury is here, yeah. Say hello, people asking where you are, are you still here? Hey everybody. Scoping hard. Yes. Should have worn more, I don't know. It's Black Friday. Yeah. I'm not scoping. So this is a, one of the this is kind of your first impression as you walk in the shop. This beautiful display. And then we move over to the left, and we've got a whole range of Elos products, high-end Italian, premium quality, a bit like the Italian ADA, I would say. And this is a beautiful tank. We've got kind of like a tree style scape with some Bukki Philandra red, I believe. Quite a new plant available from Tropica. And some more Bukki Philandra. Not sure what species that is. And some more down here. You know what species this is? Here is. Um, is it red? Uh, we, we don't know which Pussyphalandra it is. It was okay. uh, brought from Japan, from a Japan trip, so it's like Pussyphalandra oh, okay. species. Yeah. And it, it's, it's not the species red from Tropica, it's a, probably a different one, but it Your looks team? very similar to mine that I have at home. It's very nice. And it doesn't seem to mind the high lighting, because I find um, under high light it tends to get algae, but this looks great under the high light. Yep. It's right next to that surface. It's really pink. And the flowers are slightly pinkish. Beautiful. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture there. Just there. Look at that. Yeah. Hey guys, do a screenshot. <laughs> yeah. Nice wallpaper. Yeah. What fish for one aquarium? I'm not sure what he means. So moving over to this, we've got a couple of tree. This is like tree island, I'd call this. Two islands. That looks great. We've got some Monte Carlo, is that? Or Hemianthus? No, yes. Monte Carlo. I'm, I'm forming the branches of the trees. Some Ricardia growing on the rocks there. Some more Monte Carlo on the rocks. This is Sirius stone. Uh, some Anubius petite or bonsai, depending on where you get it from. And some beautiful rainbow fish. Colours on these are amazing. I'm really impressed by these solar. Solar RGBs, the colours just... Even the fish, they look much They're just better. intense, it's just... I'm really, um... I might have to buy... I very rarely buy my own lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to get an AZA Solar RGB for free, somehow. So this is a beautiful... Is this an ELOS tank? Yes. Yeah? So, ELOS, not very well known in the UK. Uh, more well known for marine, for saltwater products. So let's move over, let's go over here, some more beautiful displays. We've got an ADA showcase. <laughs> Frankie Fish as I feel a scape off coming on. <laughs> beautiful Iwagumi here, classic Iwagumi. Some really nice uh, glow like tetras there, beautiful size, nice and mature. And then moving over, this is one of my favourite scapes, I think, so far in the shop. Beautiful manzanita wood. Again, we've got some ricardia growing on the, on the branches. 
<laughs> Victor's watching from Green Aqua. Victor's watching from Green Aqua. Hi Victor, how you doing mate? I'm getting spoiled with all these amazing shops. Hi Lewis, doing my first part of CO2 tank in January. Good luck mate. CO2 is the way forward if you want a nice part of the tank. Chocolate garami here, beautiful. Lovely chocolate garamis. Seem to be really happy in here. Hey Rocky, how you doing mate? Yeah, that's a nice size Lewis, 4x2x2. Two by two by two. Uh, this is a stunning tank actually. I'm just looking in, the, the more I look at, the more detail I see. Got some of those beautiful Fissidens moss. Hi Nigel, what lens do I use for this filming? This is just an iPhone 7, my friend. Nothing too, uh, too fancy, just a good old iPhone. The 7 is very good, to be fair. Uh, we've got some crystal red shrimp down here as well. Let's get a look at these little bezelers. Look at that, let's see if we can focus on him. There we go, right at the front. And we've got one towards the back there. Hello from Nepal. Hello, thanks for joining. Give us a shout out, guys. Let us know where you're from, what country you're from. It's really great to engage with an international audience. Hi, Paolo. Thank you very much. Cambridge, yay, near me. <laughs> okay, this is a really moss heavy tank. I love this. These fish are amazing. What fish are these? Are they a tetra caracin? Canada, we've got Netherlands. Ah, it's Art, Commisso, Moss Cotton Headquarters. <laughs> How you doing, mate? Yuri's is wearing a skate pod t shirt, obviously. There we go. I've got one in my bag ready. <laughs> This is probably one of the best calling fish. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're very rare in the UK. Okay. I've only seen them once in the UK, these fish. They're the best calling fish. Oliver not is using them as well sometimes. Yeah, the colours are amazing. Again, under the... You wave your hand. Look at that. Let's call it. Hopefully they jump out. <laughs> Look at these fish. Tight, tight schooling. That's what we like in aquascaping we love a tight school of fish moss is just intense in here we've got some pelia as well we've got some mini pelia some ricardia camera dry folia uh, a little bit of hemianthus there at the front as well some dragon stone some lovely wood i'm guessing this is looks a bit like, like iron wood uh, this is an ada 90p by the look of it beautiful tank uh, Velgros, Grox, do you have any idea why Harlequin Rose Boars always jump out? Um, they shouldn't jump out all the time. It's normally that they're not happy in the tank or they're getting startled or the lights are coming on too quickly, maybe too bright. But if you provide them with enough shelter, um, if you have CO2, high CO2 can cause fish to jump as well. These Ember Tetras, you can't, they're not, not focusing on them at the moment, but the uh, the colours of these are fantastic, so red. Yeah. What, food, what food are you using for your fish? Uh, Elos or what food, fish, fish food? Elos fish. Elos. Yes. You like it? Good food? It's hardy. Yeah. Sorry guys, it's not focusing on the, the fish, but hey from the Philippines. Well, yeah, the colours are insane mate. What clips were they, George, on the glass lids? Uh, oh. Over here, we've got glass lid clips here. I don't know, mate. These are just generic clips, I guess. Um, I think called garden hooks from ADA. Okay, garden hooks from ADA. Probably about a hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Probably ninety. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. More ADA dry goods. So, happy Thanksgiving from America. Okay, what else? <laughs> this is a really cool tank. We've got some lovely plaques in here. Look at these. Stunning. Hello from India. Hello. Hello, Wally. Hello, Atik. 
Thank you, David. Yeah, best aquascaping channel on YouTube. Thank you very much, Dennis. That's lovely. Wayne Jones, okay, cheers. Looks a little less intrusive than the large plastic ones. Yeah. Hello from Romania. Hello. I see the Galaxy Resboras there, dip dotting around the wood. They look really cool. This is a beautiful scape. We've got some uh, Mirio Film Matagrasensa, I think. Uh, it's a beautiful plant, really easy to grow. Hello from sunny Norwich. That's, for those that don't know, that's in England, yeah, east, east of England. Nice driftwood, yeah, beautiful driftwood. Uh, here we've got a tank absolutely rammed, full of super cool shrimp. These are, let me try and get a good shot of some, here we go. These are pintos, so they're like a cross, a cross breed of um, cherry, cherry crystal, uh, crystal red shrimp, um, Taiwan bee and tiger shrimp I believe, so to get that awesome colouration that's what we've got, look at them, there's loads of them, look at them. So not necessarily an aquascape but uh, more of a shrimp breeding tank here. Hi George, been using some of your techniques in, and my getting amazing response to my tank so thank you, that's great, thank you Bart. Okay, let's move along. Let's have a look at some of their plants they're selling. So all the plants in a super healthy condition, actually injecting CO2 there, which is a really great idea to keep the plants long term. Uh, Tropica plants we've got. We've got some Aquafleur by the look of it. Some beautiful plants. Hello from India, hello India. And these are the fish tanks, actually selling the fish here as well, obviously. Those are cool fish, really healthy, really colourful. And all the tanks have got plants in, which is really good to see, or they're decorated. That makes the fish feel more comfortable. And I love this, look at this. Look at this mini Thysidens here. Absolutely incredible, check those mosses out. So really cool. Some more moss covered tanks here. We've got some rocket killifish or clown killifish, some people call them. Can you see those all at the surface? Really cool. This is like a scape on its own, this tank. It's beautiful. Some Amano shrimp in there, keeping the algae away. And uh, just love, just love to see these kind of shops really specialising in aquascaping, inspiring the customers, and that's what shops should be doing. You know, it's really, really great to see uh, shops taking aquascaping seriously and um, really investing heavily into nice displays, beautiful plants. Here we have another an aquarium with loads of crystal reds in here. Let's have a look. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. Oh, there's a fighter in here. I didn't realise. Very beautiful. It's like a half moon dragon, is it? Look at this bad boy. So this isn't just is more to the shop. So let's have a little scan. We've got some more shrimp in here. These are cherry shrimp, Neo Caradina, bulletproof, easy to keep in any kind of water. You don't need RO water for these. You can just grow them in any tap. I use them in my standard tap water. I'm going to go back to this tank because I love it so much. So we've got some bulbitis up here. Um, I'm not sure, mate, what those rare fish are called. Do you know the, sci the scientific name for these fish? Okay. Scientific name. Stripe. Yeah. Um, let me let me check. Find out for you, Rocky. Johnny Fish Tanks, beautiful tanks. I wish all shops had such aquascapes. Cheers from Portugal. Yes. Me too, mate. It'd be brilliant if more shops took aquascaping more seriously. The UK in particular is pretty pretty poor, to be honest. Twin Star. 600S versus ADA Solar RGB, which one is better? 
Well, I would I would say the ADA Solar RGB, but it is about five times more expensive. So it's kind of you get, you get what you pay for. If you are on a budget, then I do recommend the Twin Star. But if you do have a bit more money, Judge, I found it's Munkhauser cost time. Uh, okay, beautiful. Here we go, Rocky. Get your pen and paper out, mate. In fact, I'll get I'll get um, Yuri's to screen grab it for me, and then I'll send it to you. So, okay, let's move on. Beautiful picture there, signed by Amano himself. Look at this. That's pretty rare and cool. Two thousand twelve and all for yeah, wow, work of art itself there. Some cool hardscape just on the steps, and then let's walk through this kind of threshold here. We've got some empty tanks with some hardscape in, some Elos stuff. This is cool, lovely hardscape selection. Dragonstone, some driftwood, Frodo stone, probably one of my favourite stones at the moment. All the way from Poland, from our friend Adam. So really beautiful. Manza needs a wood. From our, probably from our friend Tom Barr by the look of this one. And then is this the juniper? It's the ancient juniper, right. Where's this from? From me. Oh, is it your own? Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Do you want to tell us about this wood, do you, Yuri's? Well, <clears throat> this is a juniper wood. I call it uh, ancient juniper because it's been like dead for many years. Uh, it's collected in very dry areas and it zinks very fast, has a very nice shape, twisted like two days and it sinks. Wow. Uh, it doesn't create this white fungus like red morwood. Uh, it gets beautiful dark red color when it's underwater. Yeah. The bark, you see a lot of structure. And beautiful wood. Can you send me some? You can hand select some at my place. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. See, it's great having friends. Some souvenirs for you. It's great, it's great having aquascaping friends. So yeah, more cool wood here. Really, really cool shop. And then I'm just going to take you through. Here we go. We've even got parrots here. <laughs> These are cool. Do they talk? The parrots? Do they, do they speak? Dodo? Yeah. Hello, Dodo. Dodo? Is he, shy, is he camera shy? Wow, look at this. <laughs> he is stunning. Oh wow. So Dieter's pet parrot called Dodo. Hello Dodo. Guck mal hier. Da. Schau mal. Hello Dodo. Hello Dodo. <laughs> Quality. Hi Dodo. There you go. Hi. Hey. Hello Dodo. Auf komm her. Guten Tag Dodo. Guten Tag. Auf komm her, Dodo. Ja. Okay, he's That's camera shot. Hey, hello, cool. hello, Dodo. <laughs> so they've got a really cool pond. It is, it is winter here, so it's not looking at its peak, but it is still stunning nonetheless. Japanese style pond. Beautiful koi. And we have these floating balls at the back there. I don't know if you guys can see them on the video. That helps to retain the, the temperature in the water. So the, the, the water doesn't get too cold. So really, really cool. So Yuri's has got the balls there. Let's have a look. We're going to feed the fish. Yuri's got balls. Yuri's got three <laughs> balls. It's interesting. So these float on the water, um, I guess save loads of en energy with regards to heating the water. They just insulate the water. And Dieter's just feeding the fish now, hopefully he can come up and give us a show. The temperature is cooler, so koi are less active during this time of year. So if you like this video guys, do give us a like and uh, if you're not subscribed already to me, that would be great. And there's a little bell notification that you can press. Wow, here we go. So if you press that bell, every notification, you'll get automatically notified every time I post a video. I'm doing two videos a week, very consistently now. So you, you can expect live streams as well most weeks. So up to three videos a week. 
for all your aquascaping and aquarium needs. <laughs> so beautiful koi, look at that, stunning colours. So it is a beautiful. It's a pity we didn't come here in summer because I can imagine it looking absolutely stunning. I can imagine sitting here with a beer, watching the, watching the beautiful fish, relaxing, talking about aquascaping. Oh wow, here we go. Look at these bad boys. So not just an aquascaping specialist store, but pond, Japanese koi specialist as well. Beautiful fish, the colours are fantastic. Good specimens as well. We're looking at 80 centimetres plus, I'd say, some of them. So, really beautiful. Let's go and have a closer look. So yeah, really cool shop. Very uh, thank you so much to Dieter for letting me film in his shop and and for Yuri's for for taking me here. So uh, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's just do a bit of a mode. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and a share, and keep on scaping. Cheers guys.